Hey guys, sometimes you'll come across an external hard drive which doesn't actually say compatible with Mac on the box, like the one I got here. But that doesn't necessarily mean it's not supported, it just means it will not work out of the box. You just need to spend a few minutes formatting it to a Mac compatible format. I'll show you exactly how to do that. First, connect your external hard drive to your Mac. Then you want to go to Disk Utility. You can find that under the Utilities folder within Applications. Double click to open it and you should see your external hard drive on the left hand side. Click on it to enable the erase button then click it. Make sure you've backed up any documents or media already on it if you've used it before you do this as this will wipe the drive. If it's brand new you can go ahead and give the drive a name. We want the OSX Extended Journal format to make it Mac compatible. Hit erase and after 15 seconds your drive is ready to be used with your Mac. Well, almost. Safely eject the drive from your Mac like so and reconnect it. You can confirm its format by going into it, right clicking and selecting get info. This will also show you what permissions you have, in my case I can read and write which is exactly what I want. I want to set it up for time machine so let's do that now. When you hit enter time machine you might get this error message pop up. That's absolutely fine. Go ahead and click set up time machine and then choose your external hard drive as the backup disk. You can use multiple drives with the time machine so if you want to do that then click use both. If you only want to use the drive you just formatted, then click replace. You'll then notice a countdown until the next backup. It'll start preparing and the backup will begin. Pretty simple, eh? The next time you plug in your drive, Time Machine will work its magic or you can obviously choose to keep it plugged in. I hope this video has helped and if you've got any questions please feel free to ask, either in the comments below, via my website or Instagram. Thanks for watching.